Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Channel 2S. I'm your host, Second Soundwave, and today we'll be unboxing a May Abawa Koo box from JoJo Hobby and Stuff. Now, yes, this is in fact the May box. They shipped it out right at the end of the month, so some people got it in the end of May. Some people, like myself, got it in early June. If you don't know what the Abawa Koo box is, I'm gonna have a full explanation of what it is down in the description below. So if you haven't watched the last, like, what, six, seven, videos in these boxes I've done, go check that out. But basically the TLDR version is that this is a monthly loot box, kind of similar to like Loot Crate or 1UP Box or one of those kind of things, except this one is specifically based on Gunpla. And also it's actually good. Inside you always get some kind of Gunpla kit, usually a high grade, sometimes a real grade, sometimes even a master grade, because every month they'll do a couple boxes that have like some kind of really cool loot inside of them. And then there'll usually be other like accessory packs or decals or some kind of other add-ons sort of mixed in. Although sometimes if it's a more high value kit, it'll just be the model on its own. Anyways, I've had really good luck with these and even in the kind of so-so boxes, they've still had pretty decent content. So I'm really excited to see what's in this one because I haven't opened one of these for a while. And by a while, I mean a month. Because that's how subscription boxes work. Except this one actually kind of isn't a subscription box because you have to buy it every month. So that's probably something you should keep in mind if you want to pick one of these up. Also, they do sell out pretty quickly. I believe the last one actually sold out literally the same day they put it up. So if you want to grab the next box they're putting up for pre-order, which I believe is the August box, you'll be able to get it on the 25th of this month, and I might also put a reminder video up on the channel when that goes live, like I did last time. Okay, that's enough talking. Let's get unboxing. I'm actually kind of proud of that, considering I just came up with it on the spot. They seem to have done an extra thorough job taping this one up. All right, so if you've seen any of these videos before, you know the drill, I'm not gonna be looking in the box. I'm just gonna reach in, grab something, pull it out. Like I can tell this just by feeling it is the card that they include these boxes. So I'm gonna set aside that for the very end. And then I feel the... Uh... So what followed the clip you just saw was quite possibly the most painful 30 seconds you would have experienced in your life of me completely forgetting what a packing slip is called for the entire duration of the time. Having to watch the entirety of that clip while editing this video was a suffering I wish to bestow on nobody, so here's a cat instead. You're welcome, internet. And I also accidentally looked down at what's in the top of the box, so I know exactly what this is, and it is... A system base 01. So if you don't know what this is, this is a hanger style diorama piece made by Bandai. These are really cool and I actually have one of these somewhere around here. I don't remember exactly where I put it. And basically just a really cool display base piece. It's not exactly like an action base because it's not really meant for flight poses. This is more just meant for displaying your Gundams so they look like they're in kind of a cool little hanger diorama setup. You can even adjust the height and width so you can put bigger kits in, even some smaller master grades or you could throw in just a regular sized high grade or real grade. These are really cool to have, and uh, I believe they're worth like 10, 15 bucks, so not a bad start to the box. All right, so thankfully I didn't see both kits in the box, so the second one is still gonna be a bit of a mystery, so I'm gonna just take this out here and show it to you guys. Now this feels like a pretty normal sized high grade, so uh, it tends to put like fairly recent high grade kits in the boxes, so I'm gonna say it's like the, uh, well, actually, I don't know. So I'm gonna say maybe it's the R Jarja. Oh, okay. So this is not the R Jarja, as you guys have already seen. This is the Narrative Gundam C Packs. Now, it's funny that I should get this in this box because I was actually just thinking today how I, how I kind of wanted to pick this kit up. So it's actually pretty cool that I got it here in this box. That makes this the second month in a row where the Abawaku box has basically read my mind. And that is everything that was in this month's Abawaku box. And because both of these are fairly large-ish items, that is all that was in this month's box. And as usual, there is the little thank you note card thing included. It says the same thing it always does. So what do I think of this month's box? Um, I actually think it's pretty cool. The uh, system base is always a nice addition to any collection, and like I said before, the Narrative Gundam C Packs is actually a kit I've been considering picking up. So it's pretty cool to be getting this in the box anyways. Now value-wise, I would say this month's box was all right. I believe the system base is usually like a 10 to $12 add-on, and this kit I think is like $23, $24 roughly, so that's like $35, $36-ish worth of stuff. But as you've probably seen in previous months, the Baoku boxes 
generally tend to kind of fluctuate in value. Sometimes you get a really cool box, sometimes you get a slightly less cool box. If you look at the playlist I made of all the previous episodes of this series, you'll be able to get a pretty good idea for that. And since there wasn't really a whole lot to talk about in this box, uh, why don't we hop over to Reddit and see what the rest of the Gunpla community got out of their Bawaku boxes. So while a couple other people did get the same thing I got with the narrative Gundam in the system base, it seemed like the most popular, or rather the most frequent boxes I've noticed this month are the Origin Zaku 2s. That being the two new ones, they did the Shar Zaku with the machine gun and the slightly modified Zaku 2. Also seems like a few people got the H2 Magnum SV version. And of course, all three of these kits coming with a variety of different little miscellaneous add-on parts that vary pretty wildly from box to box. You know, sometimes they get like a Kotobukiya flight stand with it. Sometimes they get some MSG parts, sometimes some plot plate. Pretty much the usual variety of add-ons you can expect with one of these boxes. Also seems like there were a couple of real great GPL ones in the mix. And the big, super awesome box this month was basically a Narrative Gundam full set with the Narrative Gundam C packs, the B pack P Bandai add on set, and then some figurized blast effect parts. So it seems like a pretty cool spread of kits this month. And uh, looking at what some other people have got, I'm actually pretty happy with the Narrative Gundam since I already have the Zaku 2 and I already have the Shar Zaku 2. So if I got one of those two, it would have been really, really similar to a kit that I already have. So thanks for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, I've got a whole playlist of other About a Coup Box openings. I'll probably have a link to it in the description, and if I don't, just yell at me in the comments until it's there. And of course, subscribe if you're new for more Gundam and Gunpla content. And as always, I'm your host, Second Soundwave, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys.